blogs or web blogs as they're referred to are a free web page that are laid out with a diary format. That diary format is in reverse order so your earliest recording in your blog would be at the bottom of your blog and you would scroll up for the most recent one. There's various uses for blogs in learning. Um, one is as a learning journal for learners to reflect on what it is that they've learned as they've progressed through the course. You could use it also for building a learning community around a particular subject or a particular project. You could have one around e-learning or around the use of blogs in your um, learning context. They do encourage our learners to write and by doing so that improves their literacy. Particularly useful for learners that have writing deficits or literacy deficits, be that through lack of educational attendance or because they have English as a second language. Blogs are really useful for small group collaboration, um, particularly when working around a project, and for sharing knowledge as part of that. We've mentioned an educational reflection journal, but blogs can also be used as a personal learning journal, and the diary format is very useful for that. They can be used to record skills, and as such form part of a digital portfolio. Um, there could be a record of all the things that have been learnt along the way and images and recordings that would substantiate those. They could also be used as a record of resources used um, and that would link into the learning portfolio um, because they can link to websites and other documents that can be held within them. There's a range of information that be can be included in blogs Obviously text is one of the main forms that can be included in them but also it's very easy to upload images or link to a um, facility such as Flickr, Photobucket, um, YouTube or any of those places that contain digital images. You can also include podcasts and audio recordings within your blog um, by linking to an outside agency such as Twango or any of those others when you can host your audio files. Blogs contain RSS feeds so it's very easy for people to collect the information on a regular basis that you've um, inserted into the blog. You can also, with a lot of blogs and you can with um, Blogger, um, receive mobile phone information, be that through text or through photo images sent from the mobile phone. Blogs are also very useful for linking to other sites and these can be collected within your blog and your learner can go off to those sites to collect further information. We've got some examples of blogs. This is one of a 7th grade math class where the teacher has provided projects for the learners um, as part of extra class activity. The learners then provide their results in the comment section of the blog and you can see there there's 41 learners who have responded um, about their probability game project that was set for them. This is a very different blog, this is set up by someone who's in the marketing business and coaches people about marketing. He's using his blog as a means of promotion of sorts of things that he does in his work and you can see that there's quite a bit of that there. Um, links to other sites, um, other sorts of information there as well about his role in marketing. Back to the classroom, and this one's a reflection by a teacher on her teaching experiences. You can see that she's got links to a range of other sites there, linked to her wiki space, um, and then lots of information about her um, blogging experiences that um, are revealed through the page. And lastly this brightly coloured one um, is about Web2 tools but the interesting thing is about um, how YouTube video has been embedded into the blog um, as well as some images um, and other information as well. Um, by clicking on the YouTube video we would link back to the YouTube site and be able to view that video. We're going to create our own blog using Blogger, which is owned by Google. 
To start off you need to have a Google account and if you clicked on the Create Your Blog Now window the first step would be to create your Google account. I do have a Google account and several blogs with Blogger so I only need to sign in up here in the sign in window. Signing in, I'll go to my dashboard where you'll see I've got quite a few blogs already with Blogger. I'll click on this link, create a blog, and that will enable me to create a new blog. I'll call the new blog Screencasts, and we'll add the blog addresses SSI Screencasts. Check the availability, and it is available. I'll now do the word verification. And click continue. You can see so far this has been quite an easy process. Um, I have a range of templates now which will give my blog a look and feel. If I scroll down you can see there's quite a few of those, the range of colours. If you have the skills you can create your own template. Um, but I'm quite happy with this one and I'll, I think I'll choose black and click continue. My blog's now created. How easy was that? And I'm ready to start posting. So I'll click the start posting button and that'll take me through to my screen here where I've got my box to type my text. I have my title at the top. I can add an image to my text here, check my spelling, link to um, another website or another site, italicize or bold my text. I click publish post here and that will publish my post to my site. Up here um, I have some options to customize my blog. Settings is fairly important and we can get a lot of use there. If I go to settings and permissions I can alter who sees my blog. At the moment it's open so anyone on the net can see it and that's particularly important for people who are doing marketing blogs or trying to promote something. If it's for a class I may only want the learners within my class so I'll choose people for my blog or it could be even a smaller project and only those who are going to be contributing to the blog would see it. So I've got some options there for that. That should be enough to get you started in your blog. I encourage you to explore some of these other options here to customise your blog. However, given the information you've got now, you'll be able to get going and get some information up on your blog. Thank you for participating today.